Uh, I'm just going to give you guys a warning that I am going to butcher the fuck out of these names. And also, um, my cat's name is also Yang. So whenever I refer to the servant, my cat. We're not, I don't know, she's in her cat tree right now, just chilling. Yang Yufei, I hope I pronounced that right, is a new servant added to FGO as of recording. She's an arch gimmick foreigner whose gimmick is burn damage. You know, kind of like how Kiyohime is. Except, not how Kiyohime is. Anyways, her first skill, Embodiment at 3000 Affections, gives her invincibility, a 10% MP charge for 3 turns, crit stars ranging from 5 to 15 depending on level, and she taunts all male enemies to her. Her first skill is really similar to Shi Huang Di's No Phantasm in the sense that she draws the enemy's attention and also gives herself invincibility. But with the built in instinct and MP charge, this skill is very useful against single target MPs. For example, uh, Q, Q Alters. You know? <laughs> Her second skill, one's favorite concubine, absorbs all enemies in peak gates by one and also decreases their defense. Something very important to note with the skill is that it absorbs NP, meaning it will decrease the enemies in peak gauge and increase her own. So, say against three enemies, assuming each of them have at least one MP tick, and the skill being at level 10, Ying Yu phase will charge her MP by 60%. So not only is the skill useful for preventing the enemy from using their MP, but it can also just strip charge Yang's MP. This is especially useful against, say, uh, a boss enemy with those little just mob enemies that tries to assist them out. So, you know, they're each building up their MP. So, hey, I'm just going to get, get rid of your MP gauge, add it to mine, and then essentially blast the box, you know? <laughs> Yang's third skill, Son of a Calamitous Star, which is a badass name, grants Yang the Living Flame status. And true to its name, whenever an enemy attacks Yang, the enemy gets their defense reduced by 10% and also burned for three turns. At max level, the burn does a thousand damage across three turns, so that's 3,000 damage. But that doesn't seem all too impressive until you factor in what it does for her NP. Ying's arts based Noble Phantasm, the Melody of Eternal Love deals damage to one enemy and inflicts burn on them for 3 turns. At NP1, the burn does 3000 damage. On overcharge, this MP deals extra damage to enemies that are burned. At NP1, this is a 150% damage increase. Now, in my experience, it is actually kind of easy to get a full MP refund from using this, uh, especially against Berserkers, so just it's basically do that twice and most things are dead, if not all things. Normally, I wouldn't mention a Servant's Bonsi, but in this case, Yang's Bonsi is actually really good for her. Purple Jade Flute, when equipped, increases her own MP damage by 30% and inflict burn damage up for 3 turns on normal attack. This he does nothing but help her. On her basic attack, she makes burn damage, something that she's trying to do, deal more damage. Not to mention, just a general MP damage up is always good. It's Especially for our servants, the, the, usually the more damage they do, the more they can get on overcharge, the more damage they do on overcharge or overkill uh, usually means that they get more uh, MP gauge back. So, more damage, more hits, those things usually equal a better refund. One of them. Besides, you know, throwing Waver and Tomo on a team with her for maximum damage, you could 
and I mean could put Kiyohime on a team with her, you know, due to the interlude or strength that she got for her first skill, which increases burn damage on all enemies for five turns. I don't know why you would do that, because Kiyohime doesn't have the best defense, so she'll most likely die before really being a, a use. I, I think the only thing you can really do is just get like, waver and domino to support her. I mean, there really isn't like a, a burn meta or anything like that going on in FGO, so just big damage. Why play smart when big red button do trick? Yeah, so in conclusion, Yang is a weird gimmick server that heavily focuses on burn damage. I'm glad I was able to pull her for New Year's though. It's been a while since I really gotten a new servant. I'm talking about one that's like been released like just recently. So it was a pleasant surprise. On top of getting her, I also got um, Merlin from the GSSR and also uh, Saber Shiki from her raid up, which was a total surprise. That's like three five stars within three days, I think. <laughs> Not to mention, I got Hokusai over in NA, along with the GSSR over there, so, Jesus fuck, that's like five S five stars in like a week, holy fuck, I'm never getting another one again. And hopefully I can pull Mustache in NA in like four or five days. Yeah. The next video I plan to make is on Queen Meeb, since she's the unofficial mascot of my channel. And I've been putting that off for far too long, but I don't know. It's been really hard to get motivated with YouTube, how it is, you know, uh, major changes to the TOS, uh, fucking COPPA, um, just YouTube not really caring about its creators. It, it's, you know, it's kind of demoralizing and it's demotivating most of all. And, you know... I kind of had the urge to make videos again, so that's hopefully what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to set up like a schedule or anything like that, because I couldn't fucking keep to one if I tried. But uh, yeah, I hope I don't keep you too long for the next video, and uh, happy New Year's. Uh, happy holidays. Hopefully 2020 will be a good year. It's not looking good so far for the US, let me fucking tell you that.